Good morning, everyone. My name is Jody Griffin, and I'm the program coordinator for the Western Livestock Price Insurance Program. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Um, I see that people are still kind of jumping on here, so I'm just going to give it a few more moments before I get started. Okay, I think we can get started. So like I just said, my name is Jody Griffin and I'm the program coordinator for the Western Livestock Price Insurance Program with Saskatchewan Crop Insurance. Thank you so much for joining me here this morning. I'm coming to you virtually from uh, central Saskatchewan. Uh, my husband and I, we ranch um, southeast of Delisle. Uh, we run a cow-calf operation of a couple hundred cows, as well as a yearling operation. Um, we run about approximately 500 yearlings um, um, that we grass uh, to be sold in the fall. So um, I'm a privileged to be the coordinator of this very important program, um, especially as a producer. So let's get rolling. So is there insurance for my livestock operation and how does the Western Livestock Price Insurance Program work? Well, glad you asked. So this is our website uh, where you can go to wlpip.ca. This website is a public website and is available to any of our producers or anyone who cares to learn more about the program. This website hosts a lot of information um, pertinent to this program. Um, I would like to highlight that the premiums and settlements are published here every week for those of you that don't know. And we also have um, a spot in here that has our market summary report that is published each week. And that market summary report um, gives you a lot of information on how we are coming up with the coverage that you're seeing each week as well as the settlement price. So at some point, I, if you've not been on this website before, please take some time to take a look. So this morning, we're gonna talk about why we have the WLPIP, Western Livestock Price Insurance Program, what it is, how it works, and then we're gonna talk about the Saskatchewan premium rebate that was announced by Honorable Minister, our Ag Minister Merritt, on May 14th in response to COVID-19. And, and we'll round it out with some resources. Now I ask that if you've got any questions throughout this presentation, please feel free to, to add that in the chat. I do have Janelle Kuntz from SCIC joining me here today to help uh, respond to those uh, questions that you might have. And I'll also take some time at the end of the presentation to address any questions that you might have as well. So why do we have price insurance? Well, I think the picture here speaks to itself quite well. You know, if we think back to 2003, to the what is deemed as the largest Canadian agriculture crisis at the time, which was BSC. BSC, for those of you who are aware and was around at that time, uh, was impacted to the industry to the point that it forever changed it. Um, BSC lingered longer than anyone ever anticipated and had a very negative effect on the industry at that time and the industry going forward. So from that experience, Alberta producers, along with third party consultants and government got together and created and developed a cattle price insurance program. They launched that program exclusive to Alberta producers in 2009. Now, as the years went through, the value of this program was being noted. So in 2014, the Western provinces of BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba collaboratively launched that price insurance program over the four Western provinces and it became Western Livestock Price Insurance. So why would we participate in a program such as this? Well, you know, I kind of pointed out the BSC effect and what it did to our industry. You know, at the end of the day, this program is here to assist our, produ our, to assist our producers with that unforeseen volatility that lays out there that is out of our producers' controls. So volatile market prices, along with basis and Canadian dollar fluctuations, fluctuating all influence the financial impact to a livestock operation and it can be extremely hard to manage and WLPIP is designed to reduce some of that risk that faces our producers in Western Canada and protect them against those market unknowns. 
So what is livestock price insurance? Well, it is a simple risk management tool that protects against those unforeseen declines in the Western Canadian beef cattle prices. When you purchase a policy, that is establishing an, a floor on the market. If at the time when you go to market the cattle, your the cattle market is higher than that of what the floor price of the insurance that you purchase, it just means that you're selling the cattle into higher money. But if the market is below that floor price that you purchase in the form of an insurance policy, then price insurance will pay the difference. So coverage that's available exclusive for our cattle producers is for our cow-calf producers, uh, our feeder producers, and those that are finishing cattle. Coverage is available for you to purchase on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and has a defined time frame within each one of those days that you can buy, which is 2 to 5.30 each day, Mountain Standard Time. So we're gonna focus in on the feeder program today, but I will just kind of briefly go over those three programs that are specific to the cattle producers. So the calf program that's for our cow-calf producers, that program is seasonal. It's available for purchase in the spring to protect our cow-calf producers from, um, from volatility, potential volatility in the markets in the fall. The feeder program, that's the one we're gonna focus in on here this, this morning. That program is designed for all wean cattle. So those are in the fall for the calves that are coming to market that you are purchasing to background or the cattle that we have out there today on grass and not intended to be finished. So coverage components that make up that premium table that you see on the feeder program is based on an 850 pound steer calf. We use the CME, the Chicago Mercantile, Mercantile Exchange Feeder Cattle Futures, along with the Canadian dollar and the cash to future bases as components that make up the prices that you see when we publish them during the week. The feeder program is available to purchase year round because feeder cattle move year round. And policy lengths that you can select from range anywhere from 12 weeks all the way out to 36 weeks. When you come to our premium tables, you will see that there are two tables that are, are published each day. These two tables are in respect to each region. We have the Alberta premium table as well as the Sassman premium table. Our program does not measure where these cattle lay or where you as a producer are, are running these cattle geographically and you have the flexibility to choose either one of these premium tables to utilize. So we have producers that live in certain parts of Saskatchewan that feel that the Alberta premium table best reflects their marketing risk. So they are, you have the flexibility to utilize the Alberta premium table if, if that market is what you deem to be most effective for your risk management. I just wanna add that to just be, mindful of when you select whichever region you choose to select that is the region that you will be settling against at the time frame when the policies come into their four-week claim window so um, feel free to utilize either one of these as you deem necessary for your operation this is an example of the feeder or, or of the feeder premium table when you come to this premium table, the first thing that you need to look at is where we have A. That's the policy lengths that are being offered on that particular day with expiry dates attached to them. B is the insured index or coverage that is being offered that day. When we forecast out our coverage each day, we will take 95% of what it is that we forecast that day and that becomes top coverage. So essentially those values down the left hand side of this premium table speaks to 95 to 75% of what we forecast in our methodology for that given day. The numbers in the middle, that represents the premium or the cost associated to the coverage that you are going to purchase. We will not be able to, we will not offer coverage to you that we are not able to settle against. And settlements are offered every Monday. 
The settlement data that we collect to come up with that settlement value is coming from auction marts across the three provinces of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. This represents about 43 markets across the Western provinces, including our two large electronic sales of TEAM and DLMS. So that data source is specific for our calf and feeder program. When it comes to our finishing cattle, we're using data that's being sourced from CANFAX that's reported by producers. So we'll dive into a little bit more of the settlement um, methodology. Once all that data comes in from these auction marts on a week by week basis, we will begin a cleaning process of the data. The first thing that we do is we, we remove all heifer data. When we're talking about forward looking pricing and we talk about the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, um, feeder contracts and fed contracts that are a large portion of our methodology, Feeder contracts in the futures market also is, um, sorry, just one moment, please. You gotta love virtual, sorry about that. So the CME Chicago Mercantile Exchange, those values that you see in the futures board is specific to steers. That's how our business kind of works. So that's the data that we're going to use is just steer data. And the other reason for that is because steer data can be consistently relied upon to be on the market. Whereas as we know, as cattle producers, heifers can go different directions um, throughout the supply chain period. The next thing that we'll do is we are going to, um, uh, we will go through and we'll clean up the weight or we will, um, remove the weights to be more reflective and more concentrated to the each specific program. So as we're focusing on the feeder program, we collect data on feeder cattle ranging from 750 to 950 pounds to get to that 850 pound average. Adjustments that are made on the feeder program is we do apply a slide and that slide adjusts it to be exactly that 850 pounds. That slide varies each week and it runs in tandem with what the slide is at the time for, this, for the cattle market. We also post, as I said about the market summary you can find on our website, we, have a, we do have information on there on our market summary report that tells you each week what that slide is. The final thing that'll go into making up that settlement value is we do have some outlier rules. So on the feeder program again specifically, we're going to remove that one and two head um, data that comes in out of um, the price me mechanism. So that speaks to when you're sitting at an auction mart sale and you see those singles coming in, you know, that can speak to maybe a 4-H steer that came to town or we just call them the outliers. Those cattle are removed from the methodology that we use and we also apply a plus or minus 10% of the daily mean and that speaks to you know those cattle that maybe are priced high and priced low if it's within that 10% those 10% are removed so that speaks to the feeder side of the settlement value in your settle when you purchase your policy your last four weeks of the policy becomes your claim window. This is when settlement prices will be published to you and will have a value to you. So this is an example of what it looks like when you buy your policy. So the example that we're gonna go through here this morning is going to be um, someone that's purchasing coverage today on the feeder program. So the claim window would start on the 28th of September and it would end on the 19th of October. What's important to note here is the first three weeks of your claim window must be physically managed by yourself. So when those prices are coming in, if you are in claim, then it's up to you as to whether or not you're gonna take some of that and, and settle some weight that you have insured there, or if you're gonna leave it and let it ride to the final week of your four week claim window. If you choose to do that, that's just fine. And the system will automatically expire against the settlement price for that final week. 
So this is just a map showing you the auction marks that I've spoke about that are reporting into us each week to give us our sediment values. And I think it just really shows how robust um, this program is and uh, relevant and reflective to you as a producer. So let's take a look at an, ex at an example. So Amanda has 100 yearlings, steers and heifers on grass that she wishes to manage some of her price risk and she wishes to purchase a policy. She estimates that those yearlings will weigh about 900 pounds in September or October when she wants to sell. So what is Amanda wanting to do? You know, there's a reason why there's more than one price that's offered here for you each day that you look at the premium table. So maybe she sees that top coverage of 184 and perhaps that's ensuring some profit for her. Now maybe she only wishes to cover cost or a break even, and maybe that lands in the middle of that premium table. Or down lower on the table, I'm calling that insuring BSC, or essentially it's just like fire insurance, like worst case scenario. I just want to know that if there's a disaster, that I have some form of protection. Now, as you can see, each level of coverage there has a different associated premium to it. So Sometimes we get caught up on the highest end of um, what the premium tables are offer, are, is offering, but other times it's kind of important to maybe just step back and take a look at the premium table as a whole. And like we said, there's, there's varying degrees of price coverage here available because everybody's risk management is unique to themselves. So we're going to take the high coverage, the top coverage of the 184 for $4.94. So what that means for her is she's covering, based on an 850 pound steer, $1,564 a head. Now the cost associated to her specifically is going to be $44.46 per head to purchase um, as she estimates that her market, her cattle when she comes to market are going to weigh 900 pounds. We speak in hundred weights all the time because that's how the markets work and that's how you insure. So I'm just gonna kind of address here how to deal with that spread. So, you know, cattle price varies with, with weight. I encourage producers to utilize market information such as auction mark sales um, data and cam facts to know what that spread is. And then you can take that and bring it back to yourself and your estimated weight to know what that insurance truly means to you. And if you have questions about that, please feel free to ask. So this is just an example of the calculation that you do to insure. So she's going to insure all of her cattle there that we spoke about in the example. So you just take that uh, 900 and it should say times 100 head here. Because we speak in 100 weight, you divide it by 100 and that would give her 900 100 weight to be insured. And premium cost to calculate that, you just take the $4.94 100 times it by the, the total weight that you wish to insure. That would give you $4,446 for the total policy or $44.46 per head. So this brings us into the Saskatchewan WL PIP premium rebate. So this rebate, as I spoke about at the beginning of the presentation, was announced on May 14th by Honorable Ag Minister Merritt. And this rebate is became retroactive from February 25th and is ongoing until September 1st. So this is an example of how this uh, premium rebate is working. Over on the right hand side, you can see that total premium um, is captured in this, in this uh, diagram. The bottom portion, which is that mustard color, speaks to premiums as they were prior to COVID-19. And then the top portion shows the increase to premium that has occurred due to COVID-19. Now premium is largely calculated based on volatility 
therefore picks up that volatility that's been experienced this year in 2020 with COVID-19. So what the government of Saskatchewan is providing is 40% of the increased premium cost due to COVID. So they've committed $5 million towards that increased cost to premium that has come from that pandemic. So how to estimate what your total rebate amount will be is you will be able to find the, the uh, Saskatchewan premium rebate table on our SEIC website. We post that premium, that premium rebate table every day that we offer coverage. As the, because this is a Saskatchewan in exclusive initiative, that is the reason why you won't find it on our Western Livestock Price Insurance uh, webpage, as that's the Western um, uh, webpage for all producers across Western Canada. And then you, you need to come and join SCIC.ca to see the Saskatchewan um, exclusive premium rebate. So you come and take a look at that and you will take the Saskatchewan premium rebate, times it by the hundred weight that you are insuring, and that will give you the estimated rebate amount that uh, you will receive. Now back to the example that we're working with on the feeder coverage with Amanda purchasing that coverage, you will see here, this is an example of what that WLPIP rebate table looks like. And you will also see that there's no rebate value in this table. Now, the reason for that is, you know, we've been speaking to that rebate being reflective of volatility. Volatility has decreased dramatically over recent weeks, in fact, over the last a month. Therefore, no rebate is, is needed at that point because our volatilities have decreased enough to come back into that pre-COVID range. But if we take a look back in April when we were at the height of volatility with COVID, you will see what the rebate actually was um, at that time. And you can also see the big difference in um, cost of premium at that time versus where it is today. So the premium rate el rebate eligibility is you just need to be a Saskatchewan producer who's enrolled in WL PIP with the policy. You must file farm income and expense here in our province. Another announcement that was made came to us from the Saskatchewan Cattlemen's Associate Association, who also is contributing another 8% to the COVID-19 increase to WL PIP premium cost. So this is an initiative that came direct from your cattle industry group of SCA, um, and they uh, graciously have contributed um, to assist the government of Saskatchewan with that reduction in that high premium cost that has been experienced. So some helpful tips for you um, as you navigate through the WLPIP world is be enrolled, to be enrolled in the program uh, does not obligate you to buy a policy, but it gets you set up for when you wish to utilize the program. Be signed up for our weekly emails. Um, be watching that coverage and those settlement values as they come in each week. Be reminded that you don't need to pay your premium up front. This was an initiative that was brought forward in 2019. Premiums are not uh, due until such time your policy expires. Um, conduct all your WL PIP business over the phone. Once you're enrolled and set up into the program, you can do all your business by picking up the phone, calling Saskatchewan Crop Insurance. You can purchase your policy and settle your policies by speaking to one of our representatives. These initiatives have been put forward to you because this program is time sensitive as we're dealing with price and markets that can move very quickly. There are only certain days and hours to participate for that reason. Producers do not need to sell the cattle to receive a claim. This is about protecting yourself against uh, market fluctuation. This is not about ensuring your production. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for joining me here this morning. 
You can reach us at our website at www.pip.ca or come visit our SCIC website um, to see that Saskatchewan rebate premium table and to visit all other programs that we offer. I have our contact number here as well, as well as an email address. So please feel free to come and join us at any time. So thank you so much uh, for joining me here this morning. Like I said, if you've got questions, please bring them forward. Feel free to give us, give us a call at any time. And uh, I'll just stop right there and see if we have any questions that I need to address at this moment. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining me. Have a great day.